I'm Steve Ragg, I'm the Council's Flood Risk and Asset Manager. We have been working extremely hard, like all local authorities, which had properties and businesses flooded over the Boxing Day flood events, to administer a range of government grants to provide money to homes and businesses. There's recovery payments, we've administered over £400,000 of recovery uh, funds to those properties, but also a range of exemptions, council tax exemptions and business rate exemptions, totaling over a million pounds. Um, we're also administering property level recovery grants, and these are grants for homes and businesses to make their properties more resilient to future flooding, so either money to stop flood waters coming into the property in the first place, or allow them to clean up their properties better in future. We've administered over £500,000 worth of funding via that route, but we still have over 100 properties and businesses that are looking to receive those grants, and a wide range of officers within the council are working extremely hard on that process. In addition to the recovery and resilience grants, we've been working extremely hard with the Environment Agency. We've been successful in gaining an additional £45 million to make our existing flood defences more resilient to future flood risk and climate change. And this is in addition to the works that the Environment Agency are working hard on delivering to the FOSS barrier. That work will allow us to look at all of the existing defences and improve them where we need to, but also we'll be moving on to look at the wider catchment-wide solutions that we could bring to actually further increase the resilience of our defences and make our communities safer from flooding into the future.